welcome to another herping adventure with Camo Chair Productions. Join us as we explore more of Florida's spectacular herptofauna. Alright guys, we're back in Florida. We've got our first official snake catch of the trip. This beautiful kind of dark red corn snake. This is the first corn snake I've ever had a chance to get my hands on, so I'm really delighted that we found it here today. Oh wow, look a little baby box turtle! We just flipped this little baby Florida box turtle. He's really neat. He's basically the same thing as your general eastern box turtle just goes through the forest, mainly find them out on um, after a rain looking for slugs, little mushrooms, little bugs and stuff. And he's really neat, very small as you can see. So we're just going to go ahead and let him go. Oh my god, I think the skunk ape is in the woods over here. We need to get this on film. Oh my god! Oh, it's just snake a dial Dundee. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Catching anything? Uh, cricket frogs, uh, giant water bug, some little fish. If you come over here, I'll catch you with this net. This is cottonmouth habitat, and Matt's about to go in it. I'm going out of it. You didn't go in it. Stephanie was about to slide down the hill into the cottonmouth. <laughs> How deep is it here? I don't know, but I got two there. cottonmouths over here. It's a lot deeper than you think. That's this is what happens when two cottonmouths are stalked by herpers. We got a cottonmouth right here and another one right over to my left. The one on the left looks a lot bigger than this one on okay, the right. Catch a cottonmouth. Go, go. go for the bottom. Go for the top. Go for it! Oh, you got, got it! it. Hopefully we it caught freeze. a cottonmouth! Everybody stand clear. Don't try this at home. And don't uh, free handle it. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey. There we go. That is the big Nice Florida cottonmouth. Cotton All right, we got another Florida cottonmouth here. These are real beautiful animals. They're pit vipers, venomous snakes. They have a pit organ between their eye and their front nostril that they use to primarily sense heat from prey animals. Uh, these guys prey on all sorts of things. They'll prey on frogs. They'll prey on fish. Uh, they'll, they're often also known to eat uh, dead things. If a pond dries up and there's a lot of dead fish floating around uh, during the dry seasons here, they'll just eat the dead fish. They've been known to eat dead roadkill. Uh, they'll take it if they can get it. They're not real picky. They're very successful animals out here. Uh, we have seen a lot of these so far today. We'll hope to see more. They're really excellent snakes. And I would definitely recommend not doing this at home. They are very dangerous. They have... Um, venom that is necrotic and it destroys blood tissue so you definitely don't want to be on the business end of one of these guys this one seems to be fairly calm though but uh real beautiful snake right here did you just find him like oh, that yeah. i might not bother him with that i'm gonna just take a picture just because it's a rattlesnake Awesome. You have to. Yeah, <laughs> you go do that. Oh, we took the picture at the same time. In the flash. Uh, yeah. Many of the snake species we find, we do like to take pictures of. A lot of these pictures we offer to organizations such as naherp.com or asefh.com so they can be better aware of where these herps can be found and how well their numbers are. This herp here that we found is a dusky pygmy rattlesnake. It's a very tiny rattlesnake, can deliver a very nasty bite, so one thing you won't catch us doing is free handling snakes. This is sweet, we just got a hold of this black racer right here. This specimen is actually shedding, uh, if we want to be scientific with that term, it's called ecdysis. Get a good look at that there. Shedding off all that old skin, part of the growth process in snakes. These guys are actually known um, before their fast speed, hence their name, the Southern Black Racer. They're one of the most common snakes we have down here in Florida. They're also found just about anywhere. We can find them out here in the wilds. You can find them downtown in the middle of cities. They can get away from anything and are great survivors. 
So we're going to go ahead and let this little guy go. It's a really beautiful snake, although they're also really <laughs> kind of nippy if you get a hold of them and make them upset. So we'll let this guy go on its way let it finish its shed. Hey Matt, what do you got there? It's just a three-line salamander. Oh, that's really neat. I've never seen one of these before. Yeah, finding these salamanders in here is really cool. This is like a bog kind of creek habitat back here. It's a really great habitat for all sorts of amphibians like this salamander here. And we've seen a lot of cricket frogs and green frogs around too. So we're going to keep looking around. Hopefully we'll find some more critters around here. And we're going to go ahead and let this one go. So we're out here walking in the Florida wilderness and came across this beautiful eastern hognose snake. This one happens to be a black phase. They can also come in phases of yellow or orange with black pattern intermingled. They get the name hognose from their upturned snout, which you can see in the front of the snake. They use it to burrow for toads, which is one of their favorite foods. When they catch a toad, the toads usually inflate their body as a defensive mechanism. They actually have fangs in the back of their mouth that they can use to puncture the toads and deflate them to make them easier to swallow. This snake is also known as the puff adder because usually when it's encountered, it'll puff up its throat real wide and look just like a cobra. Another thing that they do too when they feel threatened is they'll start doing a feigning of death. They'll s start twirling all around and when they do that they'll musk and they'll spread it all over their body so they smell like they're dead. And then when it comes to the final act they flip over completely with their mouth wide open and their tongue hanging out and they'll freeze completely. And usually this will deter any predator. We actually got footage of this because when we first walked up on this snake, it did just that. We just found this gray rat snake. He was just relaxing in a stump, basking, trying to warm his body as it is a snake. They are cold-blooded. Um, these guys are constrictors. As you can see, they constrict. They are built for climbing. They usually get... I have found one before which was about the size of me. I am about five foot eight. As you can see, this one isn't that big. It's just a little one. So we're going to have a little photo opportunity and then let him be on his way. Grab, grab, grab it. Snake. Ribbon. Ribbon. Another ribbon. Ribbon. Pigmy. Michael, you almost Pigmy. stepped on the pygmy. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Get the pygmy out of the road. Wait, it's a ribbon. Get the pygmy out of the road. I need a ho anybody have a hook or something? Yeah, or he's, he's, gone. Fine. he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's on his own. This is nutters. Keep going. Keep going. Go farther, pygmy. I don't want to... Is that another blue yeah. ribbon? There's yeah. Let me Can see the, where's the ribbon. No. I like the ribbon. Oh, it's pretty. I don't need forever. Oh, yeah, just to take pictures of it. Yeah. Is he blue? Okay, cool. Yeah. I love road cruising. Oh, it's God. quite possibly the There's best down here in out. Florida. Florida banded water yeah, snake. And uh, a lot of Matt here has this beautiful little critter, this swamp Florida snake. swamp snake. Get it down here in the lake. Sam? Let's show off its belly. It's got the beautiful red belly. Can't see it. It's black beautiful. like Washington. Back up a little bit. There you see you it now? Go. Isn't it beautiful? Swamp snake and the Florida banded water snake. Ready for their brief photo session on the road I'm here the before we move on. Okay, so far we're road cruising and we've got a peninsula ribbon snake, we've got a dusky pygmy rattlesnake, a young Florida banded water snake, and a, uh, a worm snake. Or not a worm snake. Uh, it looks like a worm snake though. It's the swamp snake, the Florida swamp snake. Really black on top, bright red belly, really beautiful animal. Uh, we're doing awesome here tonight, and hopefully we'll find a lot more stuff. This is great. All right, Chris, it's been a lot of fun, man. I've really enjoyed my stay down here in Florida with you. Yeah, we've seen a lot of animals over the past week. We've had a really great time. I've got a lot of great photos, too, of a lot of these animals. Yep. So all sorts of different snakes and frogs and lizards. It's yeah. Really cool. I feel like I get a little desensitized, though. We're around so many venomous snakes that, you know, we've got the cotton mouths and the dusky pygmy rattlesnakes and last night I was totally not to pay attention and just almost stepped right on that dusky pygmy. I mean, yeah. Sometimes you really have to be careful down here, especially in the areas that have lots of venomous snakes. Uh, you always want to practice extreme caution around them. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know what you're doing when you're handling of course, just the best thing to do is just leave them alone and give them their space. Yep, especially if you can't identify them either. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yep.
As always, I'm going to miss you, brother. Yep, we'll hope you can come back soon and yep. get back out in the field and see lots of cool animals again. Yeah, I look forward to it. And thanks for watching another episode at CamoChairProductions.com. We'll see you next time. All the animals filmed are wild animals. If you venture into the field, put safety first. A good day in the field doesn't include a trip to the emergency room.